what do I know about equivalent fractions? So you might be wondering, you're thinking back to everything that you have learned about equivalent fractions. So the answer that we are going to talk about today will answer the question, what is an equivalent fraction? Turn to your shoulder partner and tell them what the question for today is. What is an equivalent fraction? Oh, class. Oh, yes. Hands and eyes. Hands and eyes. So we have our question for today. We're going to go through and review our answers. And then we're going to do some example poppers. Show me how we do example poppers. No. Very good. Show me how we do air whiteboards. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Very good. Oh, class. Oh, yes. And then we'll do a little practice activity and then we'll do a QT. Show me what we do when we do a QT. Very good. Heads up. Okay. So, let's talk about some of our things that we know about equivalent fractions. Mirrors. Mirrors. If I double the numerator and get the denominator, the fraction is equivalent to one half. Mirrors and words. Mirrors and words. If I double the numerator. If I double the numerator. And get the denominator. And get the denominator. The fraction. The fraction. Is equivalent to one half. Is equivalent to one half. If I double the numerator and get the denominator. If I double the numerator and get the denominator. The fraction is equivalent to one half. The fraction is equivalent to one half. With a full body turn to your shoulder partner, tell them what you know about fractions equivalent to one half. Teach. Okay. If I equivalent fractions is that sometimes there are special fractions equivalent to one. Mirrors. Mirrors. If the numerator and denominator are the same, if the numerator and denominator are the same, the fraction is equivalent to one. The fraction is equivalent to one. I need all of my friends gesturing with me. Give me an if the numerator and denominator are the same, if the numerator and denominator are the same, the fraction is equivalent to one. The fraction is equivalent to one. This time I want you to tell your shoulder partner about fractions equivalent to one. Teach. Okay. If the numerator and denominator are the same, the fraction is equivalent to one. So 
some fractions that are equivalent to one half. We know that there are some fractions that are equivalent to one. And we know that there are some fractions that are called equivalent that look different but have the same value. So these are the three things that we're going to practice today. Hands and eyes. Hands and eyes. We are going to do some example poppers for fractions that are equivalent to one half. Let's get some ideas in our brains about fractions equivalent to one half. Who can give me some of those example poppers? Yes. Um, 500 over 1,000. 500 over 1,000. Excellent. Natalie. 1,000 over 2,000. Very good. Yes. Yes. Another one. Uh, um, very good. Yes. Very good. Yes. Okay. 20 over 40. Say it again. 3 over 6. Very good. One more. 250 over 500. Ooh, 250 over 500. Very good. Awesome examples. Let's try another one. This time we're going to do some air whiteboard. Show me your air whiteboard. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Write on your air whiteboard a fraction that is equivalent to one. Write on your whiteboard a fraction equivalent to one. Ten fingers in the air when you have it. Awesome job, hands down. Who can tell me what they wrote on their air whiteboard? Yes. One million over one million. Oh, big number. One million over one million, but it is equal to one million. One. It is equal to one. <laughs> tell them it's cool. It's cool. One more. Yes, one more. Yes. Yes, 30 over 30. Yes. Very good. Two million over two million. We love those big numbers. Tell your shoulder partner, we love those big numbers. We love those big numbers. Oh, class. Oh, yes. Hands and eyes. Hands and eyes. 